All right. Well, I think we've got one more question to cover. And I have a lady on the phone who would like to remain anonymous, so we'll just call her Jane today. Are you there, Jane? Hi, Dr. Lisa. Hi. What's on your mind? My question is also about the down there area. I've heard you refer to it as the self-cleaning oven, but sometimes I feel the self-cleaning oven can still smell. I never had a problem when I was a teenager. I'm 25, and I feel it's just the odor is there sometimes. So I was wondering how you feel about the odor blocking feminine products that are in the stores now and how often they can be used. Really, the vagina shouldn't have an odor to it. And again, that's why I talk so much about the self-cleaning oven, because basically you have natural fluids down there that are going to clean everything out and really shouldn't have an odor if it's very healthy. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your gynecologist to make sure it's not an infection. Once you do that, then she can help you or he, he can help you with how to solve, resolve that odor. But basically, most of those feminine hygiene products are are not going to do any good as far as changing the odor, and they're, they're probably going to do more harm than good. So just okay. forget about those over-the-counter products. Talk to your gynecologist first. Make sure it's not an infection, because especially you don't want to douche and then push an infection up and, and, and result in something called pelvic inflammatory disease, which can cause fertility problems and all other kinds of problems, because it really the vagina shouldn't have an odor. But what does cause odor that's not related to infection? Just sweat glands. You have sweat glands down there. And if you're exercising and it gets caught in hair and things like that with the bacteria, that's going to have an odor, just like underneath your arms. So basically, you want to make sure that you use the you know, antibacterial soap or real mild soap that you wash right after exercising, cotton panties, because the other thing you all heard me say is the vagina has got to breathe. It's got to breathe down there. And you may want to shave. This is one area when shaving is actually beneficial because it keeps the hair from getting the bacteria caught in it and causing just a basic, you know, body odor.